All right, let's take a look at question number 21. Uh, question 21 reads, it says, the functions f of x, q of x, and, q and p of x are shown below. So this is f of x, the graph, q of x, the equation, and um, p of x, the table. All right, so these are three representations of functions that you should know for algebra one um, in order to do well on the, on the Regents exam. The question is, when the input is 4, which function have the same output value? In this question, you are being assessed on your ability to read functions with a specified input. Can you determine what the output value is given a graphical, algebraic, or numerical representation? Okay? All right, so we're going to attack them one by one. We're going to start with f of x. f of x is the uh, graphical representation. So this is a graph that we have right here. All right. So when we are dealing with um, graphs, how do you determine what the output is with a specified input? In this particular problem, the input is four. So if the input is four, uh, we automatically know what x is. If the input is four, the input is x. Okay. So x is going to be four. Now for a graphical representation. Uh, we're going to be plugging 4 into this table right here. So that's going to be f of 4. So what does f of 4 mean? f of 4 basically means what is the y, what is the y value associated with the x value of 4? All right. So f of 4 is the y coordinate, the y coordinate um, when x is equal to 4. Okay, so what is the y coordinate that's associated with x equals 4? Basically, what is the ordered pair on this function? What is the y value of the ordered pair um, on this function or the point on this function when x is equal to 4? In order to accomplish this, all you just do is carry out your vertical and horizontal traces. Okay, all right, so since we're starting from the input or the x, we're going to be doing the uh, vertical trace first. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so our vertical trace will start from the x value of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So vertical trace, you just trace upwards or downwards to the graph of the function, OK? In this case, the graph is above, so we're going to start from 4 and trace to the function right there. That's too thin. Let me make it a little bit thicker. OK. All right, so we start from. 1, 2, 3, 4. You trace it up since the function is above. And then you hit a point. Okay? Now that point that you hit is an ordered pair. Every point on the graph has, on a two-dimensional graph, has a x coordinate and a y coordinate. Okay? So when you trace this value of x equals 4, which is the input, okay, when you trace it to the graph, you hit a point. This is a lattice point right here. Nice pretty point for us. This point has the x coordinate of 4. How do we know that? Well, that's where we came from. Now, what is the associated y coordinate? 1, 2, 3. If you draw a horizontal line from um, the specified, the desired y coordinate to that point, then you're going to see what we want. So the y coordinate, if you start from this point and you go straight to the y coordinate, you're going to be at the y value. Uh, three. All right. So the ordered pair that's associated with x equals four is four comma three. All right. So the question is, what is the output when the input is four? So four represents the input, and guess what the output is? The output is the y coordinate that's associated with it. So this is your output value, which is three. Okay. So from this graph, we can clearly see that f of 4 is equal to 3. All right. Now let's move on to the other representation. Let's deal with the algebraic. All right. So we have algebraic representation. We have an algebraic equation here. Now for this scenario, we want to look for q of 4. OK, notice we're replacing the x with 4 because that's the uh, specified input value. 
So Q of 4, what is Q of 4 in an algebraic representation setting? To get Q of 4, all you do here, slightly different, is you're going to substitute um, the input value 4 for the x's for x in the equation. Okay? Substitute 4 for x in the equation and simplify. And that's all you have to do. Okay? So the, what equation am I talking about? Well, is the equation that we're given here. Q of x equals the quantity x minus 1 square minus 6. So we're going to take out all the x's. Let's take them out. Parentheses. And then we're going to replace it with 4. Alright, so Q of 4 is going to be 4 minus 1 quantity squared minus 6. Okay? Okay, now how do we simplify this expression to the right of Q of 4? We're going to use the order of operations. Please excuse my Dian Sally, okay? So we have parentheses here. We're going to deal with that first. Whatever is in the parentheses, we have a difference. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 squared minus 6. Okay, so using the order of operations, do we subtract first or do we do the exponent? We do the exponent first, right? So 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Okay, so for the algebraic uh, representation, this algebraic equation here, Q of 4, the output when x is equal to 4 is 3, the same as f of 4. All right, so the last one that we are going to look at is the tabular representation. What if, if you're given a table? That's another way that functions can be presented, okay? All right, so for tabular, uh, this one is the easiest one to do. You don't have to do much work. For tabular representation, we're, we are looking for P of 4, okay? So what is P of 4? P of 4 is just the Y that's paired with X equals uh, 4. So Y value paired with X equals 4. What am I talking about? 2 is paired with 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 4, 6, 5. You have the pairings happen um, horizontally here. So for X equals 4, what Y value is paired with it? is paired with 3. So what does that mean? It tells us that P of 4 is equal to 3 because this is the output or the Y value that's associated or paired with the input or X value 4. Okay? Alright, so the question again says which of them have the same output value? What's your answer? For the graph, the output was 3. For the algebraic equation, the output was 3, and then for your tabular representation, the output was 3 also. So guess what? The answer to question number 21 is option 4, because all three of them, f of x, q of x, and p of x, have an output value of 3 when the input is um, 4.